Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you something that happened to me some time ago. It started on June the 17th, 1989. At the time I lived in North York, Ontario, Canada, which at the time was a suburb of Toronto. There was a cable television station that provided the weather forecast and from time to time switched to the radar precipitation screen. On this day, while watching this program, and as it switched to the radar screen, I was stunned to see a precipitation echo become very clearly the shape of a dog's head. It was a terrier. I know some of you will find this hard to believe, but it is true. Then it changed to another breed of terrier, with a spotted eye and more of the body form. Then it changed to a rabbit with long ears extending upwards. The image was very well formed. Then it changed to a kangaroo. Then as the radar screen showed the next image, the head detached and the body looked like a hyena's. The images were all very well formed and unmistakable. These images were showing up along the edges of the precipitation echoes. I knew this was from God and that he had a purpose for all of this. On June the 19th, a large precipitation echo on TV was the shape of a monster with two horns and looked somewhat like a monkey. It changed and at times looked like an ugly old witch. It then changed to something like a lamb with long ears. It seemed to have both loving qualities and monster-like qualities. There was a cute small horse on the bottom of the image, at times looking like a toy with a fluffy mane. The mouth of the monster became like a skeleton. At one time it was like a clown with a hat, with three long parts to it, two of them with two horns. Different shaped horses appeared and other animals or creatures all over the area of the screen. The precipitation echo then became something like the shape of a donkey with a bolt of lightning on its head. On June the 20th, a precipitation echo on TV was in the shape of a creature, something like a pig, but with two horns. On a picture on a calendar I had, clouds also formed the shape of Our Lady with a veil like on the cover of a prayer booklet I had. A little later, precipitation echoes formed the shape of a pig and a fierce pit bull with its mouth somewhat like a fish, battling with another fierce animal with long, slightly curved antlers. There were other things too. On the evening of June 22nd, a cloud formation outside formed the shape of a dragon and then of a different shaped head of a dragon. Something like a lion was behind it. I think the figure of a, our lady, sorry, I think the figure of a lady was before it and something ensued. There may have been two figures of a lady and then something happened. On June the 23rd, clouds formed the figure of our lady like a silhouette. I think with baby Jesus, from the head to the waist, like on the Prayer the Rosary prayer booklet. There is a lack of detail with the silhouette, and that's why I say I think baby Jesus was with Our Lady. Then there was the side view of a very big, vivid figure. His features perfectly well formed. He had lots of hair growing upwards and back. I saw that it was Lucifer. He was like a creature though, like a wicked angel, somewhat glorious it seemed. It was so clear. Later I saw a figure which I believe was Jesus, his arms spread out like he was on the cross by viewing him from the top. Smaller figures of Our Lady appeared in the clouds with a halo from the shoulders up. I know many of the images I've described are very confusing. It would be very difficult for me to try to interpret everything I've described in this video, but I believe this was in part at least a prophecy from the Lord. 
there were many horrific images and we know that there were several very destructive wars in the 1990s and in the years following. Many of the images I have described are also reminiscent of the book of Revelation. I assure you that none of this is made up. Jesus died on the cross for our sins and has already won the victory for us. Let us turn to him the way, the truth, and the life who will lead us to our Heavenly Father. Mary and the saints are there to help us in our journey. God wants us to know that he is real and is aware of everything that is going on in our world. He is the Lord of history and this is also a reminder of the eternal consequences for those who reject God in this life. Thank you so much for listening and I invite you to view one of my video one of my other videos and to subscribe to my channel.